In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use an AliExpress alternative called Source Inbox for your Shopify dropshipping stores. We all know using AliExpress comes with a number of headaches, such as dealing with multiple suppliers, trying to get the right tracking numbers, and your products taking four to eight weeks to get to your customers. So you're going to want to transition away from AliExpress. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use Source Inbox to do that. Now, why should you listen to me? Well, I've managed to bring multiple different drop shipping stores to five figures in revenue and I've also managed to generate five figures in revenue within one month on multiple different occasions so I know a thing or two about using different drop shipping suppliers and Aliexpress alternatives now why should you use sourcing box as your drop shipping supplier well firstly you can source multiple different products using sourcing box so they allow you to go and source products from suppliers such as Aliexpress and Alibaba. So no matter what type of product you're selling, you should be able to find it on Sourcing Box. Secondly, they have really amazing customer service. So they do have one-on-one -on -one agents that you can contact and they will speak really great English. So if you are having any problems or you want to get your tracking numbers or anything like that, then it's going to be much easier to use Sourcing Box because of their customer service. And they also have super fast shipping times. So they are able to process orders in three to five days and they can ship and deliver orders in seven to 15 days, depending on the country. So they can ship to the UK, to the US and throughout Europe. And finally, you can customize your products using sourcing box. So if you are bringing in a lot of sales, you can then go and add your logo to your packaging and to your products using sourcing box. There are some minimum order quantities to customize your products using sourcing box, but for the dropshipping side of things, there are no minimum order quantities. So I will leave a link in the description to sourcing box. And from here, all you need to do is click on sign up. From here, you just need to enter in your email address, choose a username, choose a password and click on get started. You will then be brought over to the source inbox dashboard and down the left hand side, you'll see a number of different tabs. So you'll see sourcing, you've got manage products, you have manage inventory, you have manage orders, support tickets, manage stores, my wallet, affiliate and settings. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to connect your Shopify store to your sourcing box account. So in order to do that, you are going to click on manage stores. Now you can connect different types of stores to sourcing box. So you can see up the top here, there are different platforms that you can connect, but more than likely you'll either be using Shopify or WooCommerce. So we're gonna go for Shopify and we are gonna click on add store now. You will then be brought over to the source inbox Shopify app and you can click on add app. You then simply need to log in to your Shopify store and click on install app. It will then say create new account but because we just created a source inbox account, we are going to click on login with existing account. Then you can enter in that email address and password that you chose when you signed up for source inbox and click on get started. You will then be brought back to your source inbox dashboard. And now if you click on manage stores and from here, you will see the store that you've just connected. So now that we have connected our Shopify store, the next thing I want to show you is how to import a product from Sourcing Box to your Shopify store. Now Sourcing Box have a marketplace or a library of thousands of different products that you can sell. So you can go to manage products and you can click on marketplace. From here, you will see all of the different products that you can sell on your store that are available on Sourcing Box. Now you can, of course, narrow these down based on the category. So if we go to categories, you can go and select a category. So for example, we could go to luggage, we could go to men's bags, and I can go and click on briefcases, for example. And then I can go and choose any of these different products that I want to import into my store. Now I'm actually gonna go for men's jackets. So we're gonna go down to men's clothing. We're gonna go to jackets and then I'm just going to click on jackets. Now you can also enter in a keyword. So you can go and type in words to find specific products that you might want to import. So I can come in here and I can go and type in baseball jacket, for example. And if we just hit enter, it will show all of the products that are baseball jackets. So once you have found a product that you want to import to your Shopify store and start selling, you can just click on the product. And from here, you will see all of the information about the product. So how much it's actually going to cost 
cost, you will see all of the variations and you can also see the shipping cost and the shipping times. So you can go and choose different countries. So if I go and choose, let's say the United Kingdom, I can go and have a look at the different shipping costs. So you can see 990, five to 10 days, and you can go and pay a little bit extra if you want faster shipping. So then you can scroll down and you can click on apply to choose the shipping time that you want to choose. And then it will show you the total price. So how much the product is gonna cost you in total to ship to your customer. So once you have done that, you can also have a look at the product description down here. You have of course can change this before you import it to your store. And again, you can have a look at all of the different variants. So for this product, you can see it's just got different sizes and different colors. So once you are ready to import the product, you can click on add to import list. Now, before you actually push the product to your Shopify store, you can edit it first. So you can click on edit in import list directly on the product, or you can go to manage products and you can click on import list. And from here, you can go and edit the product. So firstly, you can go and change the title. So I've just narrowed the title down to retro embroidered baseball jacket. And now we can go to the description. So you will see the default description that is created by sourcing box. Now I'm just going to go and change this. With my store descriptions, I prefer to sort of describe the product. So I've just said our vintage style quilted racing jacket is perfect for pairing with jeans, blah, blah, blah. It comes in two colors we're gonna put here. So once you have gone and done that, you can go over to the variants. And from here, you can go and tick and untick any variants that you don't want to push to your store. So for example, if you didn't want to sell XXL, you can just untick this. Now I'm just gonna go and have all of the different variants ticked. And then you can go and choose the price that you want to sell the product for on your store. So you can choose a sale price and a standard price. So we're gonna go for the sale price. I'm gonna go and click on set a new value. And in here, I'm just gonna go and change this to 59.99 and I can go and hit apply. And then you can go and add in a standard price as well. So we'll go and add in a standard price. We'll click on set new value again. We'll just put in the standard price as 79.99 and hit apply. And as you can see, it will go and update those prices for all of the different variations. And then finally, you can go to images. And from here, you can go and choose the images that you want to show for the product. Now, me personally, when I create my stores, I actually download these images. So you can click on download images and I just go and edit them. So for example, I would just cover up this text here and I cover up anything that has Chinese writing on it and things like that because it just makes your store look more professional. So always make sure you're putting in that little bit of extra effort that other people don't. And that is how you can make more sales on your store. However, we're just going to skip that part of the tutorial because I'm just showing you how to import the product. So what you can actually do next is you can go and select this product because you're gonna see all of your imports in this area. So you can just select the one that you want to import and then you can click on import selected to store. You are then going to choose the store that you connected to sourcing box. You can also choose your collection. So I'm just gonna choose my collection and then you can go and click on okay. It will then say import success. And if you head over to your Shopify store, you will see the product has been imported to your Shopify store. Now, like I mentioned earlier, if you did download the images and you did edit them to get rid of any writing and things like that, then you can just go and click on add and re-upload the images that you have edited. So now that you have done that, the next thing I want to show you is how you can source specific products using Sourcing Box's sourcing services. So you're going to go and click on sourcing. Now, when you first click on sourcing, it might say that you need a customer manager to start using this service. So if it does say this, you can go back to your dashboard and then on your dashboard, it will say customer manager and it should say something like enter code. So what you can do is in the bottom right hand corner, you can click on to contact sourcing boxes, customer service, and just say, I want to start sourcing some products and they will go and send you a code for a customer manager. And then you just need to enter in that manager code. And then once you have entered in that manager code, you can just refresh the sourcing box app and then you can go back to sourcing. Once you have done that, your sourcing area should now look like this and you can click on post a sourcing request. 
Sourcing Box will then bring up all of the products that are already in your store. So maybe you've already connected some products using DSs from AliExpress or you're using CJ Dropshipping or another supplier. So what you can do is you can go and choose one of the products that are already in your store and then use Sourcing Box to go and source a similar product or the exact same product. So you can go and tick a product that's already in your store. You can scroll down to the bottom and you can click on Submit to submit a sourcing request for a product that's already in your store or up the top you can click on aliexpress and other and then you can go and upload an image you can go and enter in the product title and then you can go and enter in a sourcing url so you could go and enter in an aliexpress product as the sourcing url and then you can hit submit and after a few days your customer manager will contact you and they will be able to give you the details of if they have been able to source the product how much they can source the product for and the shipping times and all of the information so once you have sourced the product you can then import it to your store now if you go back to your dashboard you can contact your customer manager using whatsapp wechat and skype and you can also contact them through sourcing box directly so if you do have different sourcing requests i recommend to use your customer manager to source products at the cheapest price so that you're able to make more profit with your shopify dropshipping stores so that is how you can source products so now that i have shown you how you can source products the next thing i want to show you is how you can fulfill an order using sourcing box so in order to fulfill an order from your sourcing box dashboard you can go to manage orders and click on sourcing box orders you will then see all of the orders that have been synced from your stores if you don't see these you can click on sync orders you can choose a specific date range you can go and choose your store and just click on sync order you will then see all of the orders have been synced so you can click on this little x where it says sync orders so now you can actually go and fulfill your orders so what you can do is you can click on this tick button here to select all of your orders and bulk fulfill all of your orders at once so once you tick on this you can click on order selected you will then see all of the orders that have been synced and you can go and choose the shipping options for each order so if we just click on this you can go and choose the appropriate shipping option you will see the amount of days that it's going to take and you will also see the price so I'm just going to choose this and once you have gone and chosen all of the shipping option for all of your synced orders you can click on pay now you can then just click on confirm and then you can just scroll down and you can go and pay for all of those orders and fulfill them all at once so you can go and pay using PayPal or wire transfer or a few different other payment methods once you have paid all of your orders will be processed and shipped out so once all of the orders have been shipped out you can come back to manage orders and click on sourcing box orders and then you can go to shipped and in here you will see all of the tracking numbers so then you can go and take your tracking number and you can just head over to shopify or if you're using woocommerce and you can just go and click on add tracking and enter in that tracking number so that your customer receives an email notification with the tracking number so that is how you can fulfill orders using sourcing box now there are a few other cool things that you can do so you can raise support tickets so if we click on support tickets you can create support tickets when you do contact your customer manager so maybe a tracking number is missing or maybe a product has arrived late or maybe a product is broken anything like that you can contact your customer manager and they will be able to sort it out for you and they will go and raise a support ticket for you and like i say this is super helpful in comparison to using aliexpress because the customer service on aliexpress is pretty poor and it's pretty slow as well whereas when you're using sourcing box you will see all of your support tickets for each product or each order so that you can go and keep your customers up to date you do also have a sourcing box wallet so you can keep track of how much you are spending on inventory so if you go into my wallet you can go into billing history and you will see how much you have spent on inventory so you can go and export this data as well and that will help you keep track of your profits how much you're spending on marketing how much you're spending on inventory and how much you're actually bringing in in revenue on your store so this is a really helpful way to be able to keep track of all of that now you can also make an inventory purchase so if you scroll up and see manage inventory you can go and click on my inventory 
and you can actually go and make an inventory purchase. So why would you want to make an inventory purchase? Well, you might want to do this if you're expecting a busy period coming up, for example, Black Friday or Christmas, or if you're expecting Chinese New Year, where Sourcing Box and other Chinese suppliers have time off, you can actually purchase inventory to be shipped out in bulk in advance. And that's only if you are expecting a lot of orders already coming in. And the last thing I do want to show you is the Sourcing Box Help Center. So if you click on the Help Center, there's lots of useful information about how to use their platform as well, if you think I've missed anything. So you can always go and have a look at their Help Center for lots of other information on how to use Sourcing Box as a supplier for your Shopify dropshipping stores. So that is how you can use Sourcing Box as an AliExpress alternative for your Shopify dropshipping stores. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.